what is up y'all and welcome and welcome back to another reaction video no because baby look why miss natalie be eating because yay my city from the west side, big to best. I do a day to shy. We Louisiana, Dr. Dre, the Los Angeles. This is it, bitch. Michael Misfit, huh? Day, a legend and moonwalk. Sliding across the stage in 87. This that Tupac out the window. Both hands throwing up that middle finger. Fuck them other niggas, wretched bitches. And my demons, yeah, I'm queen. What is up, y'all? And welcome and welcome back to another reaction video. I'm your host with the most, Natalie Love. Here to give you a comedic commentary on these here reaction videos. Now, child, if this is your first time here, hey, hello, hi, and welcome. Amen. We are happy to have you and we would love to keep you, but I do have to let you know a couple of quick things, okay? I cuss, I curses, I do all the things. I have a foul, filthy fucking mouth, and if that's going to move you to words, go ahead on the exit stage left now. Also, these are reaction videos, so then and therefore, I am going to react. That means constant pauses, frequent chatter during the video as I see fit, bitch. I am the host. Hello. Also, uh, you may see me part taking the herbal essences during these videos. I may smoke some. <clears throat> okay. I broke my sabbatical from Black and Miles tonight because I, God damn it, I needed one and maybe I'll discuss it, you know, in something else. Have you watched the vlogs? Oh, okay. If not, you may not be up to date on some shit. So go back. Thank you. Anyway, child, uh, if you still here under the sound of my voice, do three things for me. Like the video. Why? Because it helps us grow. Comment to let the love gang know that you have subscribed to the channel. That is it. That is all. And I thank you so much. If you see these in the comments, that means you got the whole hood with you. That's the love gang saying hello. That's the love mob saying hello. The love tribe, the love family, the love coalition saying hello to you. All right. Be kind. Speak back. All right. This video is going to be a little different. I don't know how much committed commentary I'm going to have for this, but a lot of times I can make a ha-ha out of just about anything. Um, so this video, I'm going to watch with y'all. Okay, I'm going to watch with y'all. I'm going to put it up, and then we're going uh, to deliberate. Shout out to Neptune for sending me this, so let me go ahead on and grab my device. I may as well have it close. Um, what it say on the screen? At, <clears throat> this is how my 16-year-old son that dropped out of school he claims he's sliding and spinning blocks. At this point, I don't know what to do. Somebody please help or give me advice. I will say before I press play, baby, I am no expert in no way, shape, form, or fashion. And if you are somebody that is triggered by somebody not having children speaking on situations and such, bitch, somebody sent this video to me for my input. So somebody give a fuck to hear what I got to say. If you are not that somebody, huh? You are A-OK -okay to exit right now. A lot of y'all don't realize people from the outside looking in can see a lot of the mistakes you can't because you are in love with said thing, a.k.a. your child, okay? You have a certain love for that said thing that you are told that you ain't never supposed, an uh, unwavering love, no matter what they do to you, even if they are diminishing you, even if you have other children and they are taking you away from them, A, dropped out of school. What else you doing all day other than sitting up in the house with me? You don't have no option. It's work or school. That's already a no-go. He claims he's sliding and spinning blocks. <clears throat> so you game banging too. So you a liability that gang bang all day till you need somewhere to come stay at and lay at. And you don't have enough regard for my household and the people that live in it to keep us fucking safe. This is the life that you are choosing for yourself. Okay, let's watch it. Hold on, let me make sure we're recording like we always do, child. Bow. Okay, let's go. You, know you better I stop do. walking up you on me and putting your hands in my face. You know I'm not none of them little boys. You know what I do. Stop Move playing that with me. On my face. Ain't no moving no camera out your face so everybody can see how you act, y'all. This is my 16 year old son. Because if you finna do all this, you can get. Yeah, I gotta pause it already. Um, what are we supposed to do? 
everybody, this is my 16 year old son. I am, while I completely understand, I'm on both sides of the fence with this because y'all have been a safe place for me, which is odd, but y'all have been a outlet for me going through my own situation. So it's sticky. A cry for help, completely understood. What are people on the internet going to be able to do? Because I feel like there has to be someone else around you that wouldn't mind helping, but you have probably come at them sideways about your son. So motherfuckers lose the will to want to help you to do shit. Nah, baby, you got it. You got it. I, I'm not fucking with it. Because I'm not going to be chastised in order to help you chastise your child. It have to be backstory to why y'all just ain't got nobody. A lot of times when people join gangs, they feel abandoned somewhere, some way by a family, unloved, some way, somehow. So what happened where this boy don't even feel loved enough by you? Because it ain't shit nobody could. I was raised by a single mother. It ain't a gang nobody could have taught me to be in. What? Nigga, Linda Fay rewards good grades. Fuck you. No. I get clothes and shit. I dress better than you. So I know you don't understand my life. And I for damn sure don't understand yours. I get whoopings when I fuck up. Real ones. And then I get like, I make an apology afterwards or a good stern talking to after. But the original thing, I'm getting my ass toe up. There's no discussion about that. As a 37 year old woman, there are certain boundaries I will not cross with Linda Faye to her face. I'm going to come out her gate. I'm going to come on home and cut my alarm on. With the threat of the police being called because she has access to my house. That fear was instilled in me. You have a lot of parents nowadays. I want my child to respect me, not fear me. There's no such thing as respect without a tinge of fucking fear. Of some sort. No, it ain't got to be cowering. My mama had a look. When Linda Faye face smooth out. Her nose open up and her eyes drop. Natalie. I'm going to get you. Bitch, that's the end of the meeting. Because A, she kept her motherfucking word. Don't be telling these kids promising them no ass whooping and do not deliver. I'm going to get you. And sometimes she didn't say shit. She just got me where I was at. <laughs> where the getting was good, she got it right there. Find you something safe to do and somebody safer to do it with. Has to be in sale. I apologize. You got some kids that's talk to kids. Then you got some you can't really fuck around with like that. And you have to be a certain level of strong, compassionate, and understand, especially raising a boy where somebody has got to be absent. Because you on the internet asking for help. Get out of my house. Ma, I don't care. No, you're I not going to be care. in my house with this. I'm finna, go, not... I'm finna go spend a block right now. What you mean? I feel I'm like it's a spoof, though. So the good. way they so talking. Good. You can do what you want to do, but you have to think about everybody else, though. So yeah, I... I the people that live at this house. You're not thinking about the people that live here. You got to see what's that feel like I feel like it's a spoof for some reason. You don't understand. I'm in this shit. What you mean? I don't care. You can get out of it. You choose and not. I'm in this shit. That means he talked to you like this. He talked to you like y'all friends. And when it's funny, it's funny. Oh, son, my, that, that nigga crazy. Now you're surprised when he's coming at you and he's behaving as your friend. If this is even real. Because like the, I don't, the acting is almost subpar. But, okay. But if we gonna talk about this as it, as if it's a real situation, 
that's already too much. I I have said cuss words in front of my mama, yes, in, in the midst of anger. I'm not going to sit up and hold no conversation with my mama. Bitch, listen, no. Whenever I go live or some shit like that while my mama here, I prefer to go to another whole section of the house. I don't even want to be right by my mama. Even though she's well aware of what I do, she, she know what I'm doing. She know I'm working. But it's just a certain level of authority that's instilled in me for my mama. I'm not finna talk like that amongst my mama. I don't have no business. I'm not my mama equal. There's a certain level of respect that has to be shown. I'm not my mother's equal. A motherfucker that'll bring danger to your house knowingly feels like you're equal. I live here too. Even though you live in that motherfucker and can't do a bitch ass thing for nothing in there but burn it the fuck down. But you feel equal to me. Ain't no way in hell. To get out of it. Ain't no getting and look out how of you dress. You got all this this mask and stuff on, I'm boy. You don't even look right. How is he purchasing these things? Like stop me you wasn't even How is he getting like these things? You better stop walking up on me because you know I'm not none of them little boys. You, know you, better, stop you, know you, know you better stop walking up on me and putting your hands in my face because I'm not none of them little boys. You know what I do? Stop playing with me. Ain't no moving up. The fact that he keeps repeating, you know I, you know what I'll do. And he's smacking her hand, even though, again, I do not feel like this is real. But in a situation of it being real, ain't no way in hell he shouldn't be chewing on motherboard. The first time he would have smacked my motherfucking hand, A, I'm not going to be recording him. There's no need. Because I don't want to be incriminated for shit that I'm going to do too. Because I'm going to clown with your ass. Then you're going to have to get your grown ass out of my house. Because you know somewhere else where it's better at. That's where you're going to have to go. Because for you to say you don't care about you, you for shit show can't give a fuck about me. No. Sometimes as bad as that shit hurt. Because if you can't save yourself, how in the fuck you going to do anything for him? You get hit with a stray bullet. Now he's free to roam the goddamn streets. They tell you on the airplane, you have to put your mask on before you can help anybody else. That is literally a survival goddamn tactic. It's not a joke. A lot of motherfuckers have drowned attempting to save a motherfucker drowning. your face so everybody can see how you act y'all this is my 16 year old what do everybody need to see it for what's the repercussion of that what the fuck does that even mean you gonna call my daddy uncle anybody you want to call i'm gonna i'm out here but what if they follow you how your siblings live here bro so what it's gonna be that you don't care about your siblings you don't care about what like the fact that i feel like he's smiling or either he's smiling or his face swole something wrong but your siblings live here Baby, listen, sometimes one got to go to save a bunch. You have other children to think about as well. 16, he kissing adulthood in the motherfucking mouth. He's telling you he don't care. If you don't have the sense to get him sunt some fucking where, and he's not able to get the fuck back, if you care a lot like that, send his ass to some sort of program that's not at the fucking house, if at all possible and free. If you have to call them people and get his ass locked the fuck up, as bad as that shit sucks, sometimes you have to see the uncomfortable side of life to know that it truly exists. It, it's horrible to say. It's even worse to think about having to fucking do. I can only imagine. And people will jump and say real quick, you don't have kids, you wouldn't understand. Baby, I love my mama. You understand me? If something hurts my feelings in a way, I won't talk to her. And it'll kill me. 
Because if anything good, bad, ugly, or indifferent happened in my life, I can't think of nobody I want to call first outside of Linda Faye. Nigga. 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 Girl. What you wearing? Let me tell you something. So, with that being said, like, crushing. But you need to know that there is a consequence to the thing that you did to me. I didn't like that. So you're going to have to be a little absent from me for a little while to understand. I did not like that. I did not like that. That thing you did. I didn't like that. Please don't do that ever again. What happens right, to them? If they come I'm shoot up this that. house, then what? And if somebody follow you home, then what? What are nobody you supposed to do? Nothing. This is my 16-year-old son. He don't go to uh, school. Okay, he walk around spin looking it. like this. Then what is the, like, the... Hold on, let me let me pause. Then the disclaimer. Like, this is my 16-year-old son. We keep going back into this. It's all, like, rehearsed. I don't believe it's real. But if it is, the internet ain't the place to, to seek help. You need to put action towards something. The internet, all you, what you gonna do, sit there while he tear up the streets and read the comments? You need action. It has gone too far. And if he's made it to 16 with behavior like this, and he tall and skinny and tower over you enough to do all of this in your fucking face, and the only reason he not knocking your shit is because you recording, but had you not been recording, you know what's up? I can't take care of shit I'm scared of. I'm not finna take care of shit I'm scared of. You ain't never seen nobody get no goddamn monster and say, ooh, I want to put clothes on it in real life. Child, we on to the next one. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time. Mm -hmm. Bye.